Color Compass is a staple within the community. It's the only place as of right now that I know that the youth can come to after school that also can be highlighted, feel appreciated, to see a gallery, to also see libraries and books from people of color. There's a lot of things that you can learn in school, but there's also a lot of things that you learn from your own community. And so we have places like Color Compton. You're gonna have you know learning happening in multiple places instead of just one. For a place like Color Compton, that's like in the neighborhood, it's close to everything. Kids don't have to like travel far to like get involved in the arts or to explore what they want to explore or just get exposed to things. I would say the Color Compton culture is a culture of collective learning as opposed to like individual competitive learning. I think everyone here is just supportive of each other and it really feels like family. The young people who come here are able to develop into what they want to do really comfortably and in a supportive environment. I mean, first of all, I think Abigail's idea was brilliant. I mean, she's been thinking about this and I still remember, I mean, as she tells the story sometimes, you know, being back in her house in Santa Cruz and her just staying up late and like talking about all these ideas of what Color Compton was gonna be. And, and she was really basing everything on community um, and, and unity between people. Um, and you need unity between black and brown people doing something. So I think it's definitely rooted in that and, and trying to bring community together. It's, it's like an investment in your own community. So I think that is why people latched onto this idea and believe in it so much. And that's why I believe in it too, because I think it's, an, it's, it's a way for us to invest in our community. And we put in, you know, we're gonna get something out of it. I think our place within the Compton community is that we're reclaiming these narratives, where we're claiming the power and who gets to tell these stories. Something that I always revert back to and I tell a lot of students that I teach about production is your ideas start with you and your phone. Utilizing what you have. And that's something that I feel like I also learned more about while being at Color Compton. Like we didn't have a whole bunch of resources. We didn't have like paper, we didn't, there were, we didn't have a printer. There were things that we just didn't have. And we utilized, you know, the resources that we did have to our best ability. So that way we could be able to produce what we have today. So I think the culture here is not only looking at what you can create with the resources and things that you have in your hands. And I think that Color Compton is a testament to showing you that we didn't have all the fancy, smanchy things. We didn't, we didn't have equipment. Somehow we were able to produce and build relationships with the community. I think that what I was trying to build here is that creative and safe place for young folks and just community to be a part of, but that didn't exist. So like I had to build it. Right, And a lot of it is when you're building something new or when you're building something that doesn't exist, there's no blueprint of how to do it. So a lot of it is us trying to figure it out because it hasn't been done before. As I'm trying to figure it out, you all are seeing me figuring it out. And so it becomes like a collaborative effort to really build Color Compton to its full potential. In 15 years, I think that we're gonna have some people that are making an impact globally. As soon as people think of Compton, they're gonna think of Color Compton. They're not gonna think of like the negatives anymore. They're gonna think of you. They're gonna think um, of your light, of your energy. They're gonna think of your, like all that you're doing to just help other people. Um, you're gonna create a ripple effect that's just gonna be so massive. It's gonna create waves. Either a new space or expand upon the current space as things grow and, and there you, you have to expand to be able to service more people um, from not just Cal I just see like a lot of people just knowing about color comment so all through California probably like the whole US you know knowing about it um, I see color Compton as a staple in the community I see um, color Compton throwing more events and like, you know like the archiving galleries are just gonna keep blowing up and I'm gonna see like staples of color Compton like around Compton what I can imagine right now I would love for there to be like kind of 
installations in different schools around Compton, definitely like Color Compton, maybe like ran clubs in different schools. That would be really cool. And like trying to foster um, kind of creative arts throughout each stage. So like elementary school, middle school, high school. But like that would be really cool. Each and every day, it's getting noticed by different people. I who run the Instagram notice that we gain followers every day. Like people are noticing and people are, are paying attention.